Hey guys, what's going on? W wait a minute, Some, something's not right here. Give me a second. Ah. That's better. Hey guys, what's going on? And today I got something super special for you. It is this, right? Hmm. That doesn't seem right. Hmm. It is this right here. Yeah, that's better. I got myself a shield. It is very cool, very large, pointy-ish. I like it. I like it a lot. It's nice and strong, made out of some thick aluminum. Is this cool? Are my parents disappointed in me? Yes to both of those questions. Now let's build this. For this build, you're going to need an extra heavy-duty 7-inch door pull, not, not handle, pull, because it says so. You're also going to need an elbow and forearm pad. And if you're wondering when I got this nice, shiny, new aluminum table, I, I didn't. It's actually the piece of aluminum that I'm using today. It's very large. So since this shield's going to be held like this-ish, except with the other hand, first thing I got to do is mark out the thing. So I got a square and this long thingy I don't know the name of. So, yeah. So this is going to be the general shape of it. If you're wondering how I got these lines, it's literally just the length of this. And I will not be cutting down the middle line, that is just to be scored so I can bend it so I can get some angle on the shield so it can actually deflect stuff that's thrown at or like I guess like hits with. The flat shield's kind of useless. Man, that was just the best straight line ever. I mean, look how straight that is. Just, whew, so straight. You don't get straighter than that. Like, just definition, perfect, perfect straight line. Can't do any better than this. I'm retiring, I'm going home. Goodbye, guys. I went back over it and I think this one's just, just a tad bit more straight. I mean, you know, it's so impossible if that other one was already just incredibly straight, but I think this one's just, just, a, just a little bit more straight, just just a touch. Now we're just gonna clean up all these edges. Now I'm going to paint it with the stuffs and the whatnot. That came out pretty nice. Now we'll go ahead and clamp it up as best you can because we're going to try and bend this. Oh. 
I don't think that's gonna work. So after about 45 minutes, I finally got a solid bend in this thing and messed up all this paint. So I'm just gonna tape it up kind of like this and paint the rest of it flat black. Oh, I think it'll look, think it'll look okay. Well, that didn't come out as nice as I wanted it to, but you know, take care to leave it. Probably should have, you know, painted it later, but hindsight's 2020. So, what you gonna do? By the way, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start mounting the stuff that makes it so you can put it on your arm. That means, yep. And I got, and I got these things to put on it. So this is gonna go right about here. This is gonna go right here. Just gotta measure out where I want my arms to be, and do not want that logo on that. I've decided where I want it. And maybe, well, let's see if that works. That didn't work at all. Well, I figured it out and I have not holds. It wasn't actually too difficult. You just kind of need to do it. It's not hard, just stick a pencil or something through it and you do it out. I was just dumb. Now, now we're gonna drill it out. I've decided that I like drilling through aluminum a lot more than hardened steel. And rivet everything together. Ah, oh, God. At this point, you can put it on now. I mean, not really having control about the handle, but you can put it on now. Next, you're going to want to bend the handle to the contour of your shield. If your shield doesn't have any contour, then that's easy because it's going to be how it is, but this one needs to be. Now once you have your handle contoured in a comfortable position, we're gonna strap in and hold it where you're gonna wanna drill the holes and rivet it into some mark out the center of those and marker. And the marker actually works this time because I'm not stupid. I lost some footage somewhere, but in this clip I'm just wrapping the handle in cloth. You can just end it up by threading itself back up through the last loop twice. Get it through the last time, probably gonna need some pliers. And you can even do it three times just, just to make sure it's not going anywhere. And you can just cut off the excess. There you go, there's your cloth handle wrap. Much more comfortable holding steel. And that's it, we are done. We have this one cool shield right here. Very comfortable hold, very, very light and flexible and easy to use because it's made of aluminum. And thank you so much for watching. Um, if uh, you're not subscribed already, be sure to subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, make sure to unsubscribe, subscribe again, then leave a bell so you still see my videos. And that's all I got for you. Have, have a fantastic day. Also, if you can figure out how to subscribe a third time, be sure to do that. Just, just, just in case. So, yeah, have a good day. You know what I just thought of? You could use this as a really big, incredibly uncomfortable pie cutter. It's like, here you go, ma'am. Have a good one.